A few weeks ago, I was here at this rock, ready to commit suicide, and a man saw me. For the first time in years, someone noticed my existence. I had forgotten how it was to be listened to, even to talk to someone in this city that never sleeps. In this small island that hosts eight million people, indifference kills. I had been killed by it, by millions of people ignoring humanity every second of the day, by millions of people ignoring me as I tried to ignore them, making me feel life was worthless. This man made me realize that I was living this life focusing on what I was lacking instead of what I had. We humans don't always value life. We don't get to see our blessings until it's too late. I took a lot of things for granted, important things. But I learned. Those hardships brought me here and now I'm committed to live my present and love my life wholeheartedly. Now I have new images in my mind. I see beauty around me and what I don't see, I imagine it. That is the principle of creating. I'm thankful I can breathe. And that's powerful. It's a precious gift I'm willing to honor as long as I have it. What a beautiful day. Maybe I gotta go back to the office. You still have time. Just forget about that yeah. now. We'll have to start heading over there in 15 minutes. So connect to the present moment. Look. Oh, come. Let's see if this time we make it. You got a friend. Come here. Come It's not just a white piece of paper. It's something else. What do you see beyond the image? Uh? Okay, close your eyes. All right. Close your eyes. Mm. Now imagine. But I want you to imagine what you want to see in that piece of paper. You have to learn how to use your imagination. Now open your eyes and see it. Put your hand right here. Okay, close your eyes and just see the image. Imagine. See, you can see what's not in there. That is imagination. Do you see that star? That one is my favorite star. Why? Because it never moves. It never goes away from New York, which is weird. So anytime I see it, I can tell the time. What time is it? Right now? Yeah. Well, if I'm not mistaken, it should be 10.45. You're tricking me. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. All you have to do is use your imagination, that's all. You have to learn how to use your imagination. You also have to study maths and geography as well. You're so silly. <laughs> no, I'm not teasing here, I'm just saying the truth.
You're early. What? You usually come visit my rock in the afternoon. I don't have a watch, but by looking at the sun, I would say it's a uh, quarter to nine. So what do you want? What is the purpose of your visit? You've been visiting my rock every day for the past two weeks. Not always here, but I know who comes around. Do you? I've had recurring visitors before. Some even became friends. Good friends. And they remain so even after departed. But the one thing they have in common is that they know what they want. Those who don't, well, they find out pretty soon. I'm looking for something. I don't know what it is. And I'm trying to figure it out here. You're here now. So maybe you already know. I don't. See, I lost someone. Two weeks ago, my husband passed away. And he was just the happiest man on earth. Always optimistic. Unlike me, of course. <laughs> Playful. A life lover. Man, he was all I had. He taught me about love. Cheers. And he loved me like no one has ever done before. And now I'm left alone of nothing. I'm grieving. Other than this pain that doesn't go away, all I have are these postcards that I've been receiving for the last two weeks with a picture of this rock in this park where we used to hang out every afternoon in the last month. Maybe he's trying to tell you something. Yeah, <sighs> that's how it was. I just think that I'm, I'm not prepared for this one. I mean, he planned this in advance, obviously, but I can figure it out. And it's hurting me because it makes me feel that he's alive and I know he's dead. So I feel like I've been grieving someone who's alive. In this world, there are no unanswered questions. Be here, and now with your grief. I give you permission to stay at my rock, as long as you want. A few weeks ago, I was here at this rock, ready to commit suicide, until I met your husband. During his last week of life, we would talk philosophy, poetry, cosmos, art, even politics. Nothing could interrupt the blessing of two human beings interacting. No technology, no prejudices, no social pressures, nothing. In one of those conversations, he mentioned you. He wished you would learn the importance of being in the present moment, of living every second of your life as if it were the last one. That day, I made it my commitment. I had to give back to that man who gave me my life back. 
I had to find a way to give you that gift. But you had to figure it out by yourself. You had to be curious. You looked at me in the eyes, just like your husband did. Probably you did so because you were grieving. Your husband was grieving too. He wanted the life I once wanted to end. He opened my eyes and he left this world in plenitude. He loved you more than anything and always will. Love is energy. It can never be destroyed. It just transforms as we humans do every day during our lives and beyond.